On this edge is the firewall, the NAT. So this is the edge of the network, and here that's the internet. And then after it, we have a core switch, and that connects through this bad, uh, that this faulty cable. This is the worst cable that we can find in our office to an access switch. And this access switch has this internal segment, uh, and to it connects this Windows device, and this device will be our victim. So on the right, we have the attacker's terminal. On the bottom part of his terminal, we'll have a packet capture of the attack from his point of view. Um, and on the left, we have a VNC to the Windows device, uh, which is the victim device uh, located inside the internal segment. Um, first, we can see that the faulty cable uh, has an impact on the network performance of this device, but not a very significant effect. So th there is some packet loss, but uh, not a lot. And now we can launch uh, the attack. And the attacker launches an ambush script with the MAC addresses um, of that he found in advance. Um, and the victim will enter a link um, that will uh, take him to the attacker's um, web page. Um, the attacker will then send all these UDP packets back to the target. Uh, some of them would bit flip. And we can see in the Wireshark on the Windows device uh, that they've turned into this wire advertising packet um, again due to the packet and packet attack. And this wire advertising packet uh, registered this DNS uh, search domain on the Windows device. Um, and this would be used for the Windows proxy auto discovery feature. Uh, so when uh, Greg there went to Google.com, he actually got this pond page.